Hey everybody, happy Friday. The weekend is just about here. So let's finish up our Wonder Flavors candies. Today we got the final five that I have. We have three of the brand new ones. We have the maple syrup candy. We have the margarita candy. And we have the extra sour watermelon candy. On top of that, we have the original sour watermelon candy and gushy fruit candy. So let's go down, let's check them out and what they got to say about them. We'll crack these ones open, give them some sniffs, and then we will wrap this puppy up. Let's go. Alrighty, gang, we're going to start right off with the brand new extra sour watermelon candy it's already been used and it's being used already with lemonade clear with sweetener with one flavors lemonade flavor watermelon flavor express lemon perillum watermelon cat and marsh marshmallow candy from one flavors anywhere cactus cotton candy jelly bean and flavor express lemon uh median on it's two percent so far, only one recipe, and that's by Developed. It's one they just did on their show on Thursday, the Blind Remix. And they're using it there at 2%. See, so they have a link. Yep, there's the link to that show. You can watch it later on. The, the original version had it, the extra sour at 1%, and they bumped it up to 2 So That's basically what you got there. Here's the original one. It may contain dyke tones. Same pending testing. Well, it's old enough flavor. I doubt there's going to be any testing done. Let's see, Mystic Rose, this sour watermelon candy. Use it 6 to 9% because this one is not super concentrated. She used it at 8% with a Crown 3 sub ohm tank with 70 30. Let it see, 7 days. Tart sweetness watermelon. Nice, accurate, artificial watermelon candy, however, is not sour nor tart, which it's not. It is tangy, though, and still good, just not quite reaching what the name suggests. Yep. It's pretty mild. Uh, Leilani, yep. The same at 69%. More about it, yep. Nah, not a whole lot there. Common uses on this one, you got strawberry ripe. You got sweetener, of course. You got sweet strawberry. You got Fuji apple, shisha strawberry, FA watermelon, watermelon candy from TFA, double watermelon from Capella, wild melon from Flavora, and sweetener. 132 public recipes on this one. Let's see what we got here. People we know. So let's go. What's Midnight Strapple Melon? Fuji apple at, at half, shisha strawberry at a half, the sour watermelon candy at seven, uh, strawberry ripe at one, sweet cream at a half, and sweetener at a quarter. Looks like a good shake and vape. Joe Van Cleef, summertime lemonade, Wonder Flare fresh strawberry, sour, and sour watermelon candy at two, and summertime lemonade at five. Old school flavors there. Mix and hope, dude. Let's see. We'll check out this Bloody Medusa Rehab. Looks like this is the third of his Bloody Medusa series. He uses it at 5.3%. We have Shisha Strawberry at 4 and we have Pineapple at 2. So we've got a Pineapple, Sour, Watermelon. I mean, Strawberry, Watermelon. So it's like a Strapple Melon. Except with some Cactus and pineapple so it looks good uh let's see he used it a bunch of times uh fresh used it in lumi's sweet and uh, sweaty spring melons april of last year citrus soda natural lemonade polar blast sour watermelon candy at three and vso watermelon at three Monkey on Juice used it. Sexy Peachy. TFA Dragon Fruit at 1. Honey Peach at 1.75. The Sweet Watermelon Candy at 2. And some sweetener. 
No, no, no. Nevins used it in sour cherry melon bubblegum. He used a black cherry jelly bean at four, cat bubblegum at six, sour watermelon candy eight, and super sweet at a half. Caution, very sweet. If you look at sweets and leave it as it is, but remove the sweetener if you're making a batch. He, he removes the sweetener on it. All right, that's all we got for that one. Let's go to another new one, margarita candy. I already have some notes. Michelle Hughes says it's tequila and lime. That's what I've been hearing about it. Common uses, just a candy, candy, cotton candy, jelly bean, sweetener, and more sweetener. And her recipe with the cotton candy jelly bean at two, the margarita candy at two. And this is one that I'm going to definitely investigate because I like lime, I like tequila. So if it works, it works. All right, got the maple syrup candy. Not much on this so far. Medium percentage, about one and a half. There you see gummy worm candy, bitters, cotton candy, jelly bean, bourbon. I think people use it with bourbon, with maple, it makes sense. And Larry used it Tuesday on Fresh from the Kitchen. He used the bitters, the bourbon. And so he used it at a half percent to give some maple syrup flavors at bourbon. Because it's basically maple syrup. And we got gushy fruit candy. Another warning contains acetone, 0.0015%. Kind of like... Uh, what states use their MSA money at? Let's see here. Leilani says a gummy fruit candy filled with sweet, juicy syrup. Well, she got that from Wonder Flavors. Nick Bean Binding says mixed fruit candy, not too sweet to identify. I mean, hard to identify what fruits are in it. With some kind of berry note, possible raspberry with others. Uh, Henning says. Not quite gushers, would would say more like airheads. A uh, bold fruity punch flavor, almost a blue raspberry airhead. I think we did say what three percent is the median on this one in a mix. Common uses: sweet strawberry, uh, strawberry gummy candy, sour watermelon candy, sour ball candy, blue sour blue ras candy. Strawberry ripe, double watermelon, lemon lime soda. And of course, you got your sweeteners. And we'll check out 59 public recipes on this one on ELR. Top ones. Let's see. Not a whole. Welch's fruit snack strawberry. Here it's used at 0.2. It was very low. With some strawberries and cactus. Uh, let's see. R2 Me Too uses it. Uh, uses it 2% with sweet strawberry and 11% sweet tangerine. Okay. And use Gush Lutz, Lusts. Beetle Juice from Flavor West at 2. Use the Gushy Fruit Candy at 4. Shirley Temple from Flavor West at 3. And some strawberries and some sweetener. Because that one's calmed down a little bit. Let's see. Anybody else? Let's see. Fresh used Illumi as a gusher. Version 1. Use it 3% with Jammy Berry. White peach. Uh, sweet strawberry. Sweetener and tart and sour. Oh, it's, I guess that's the last one, huh? Okay, we went through all these pretty quick. 917 private mixes. Let's see, I had one. Did Maybe I never, I must never made mine public. Did I use, no, it wasn't this flavor, it was the other one. <laughs> okay. Well, here you got Disco Potato used it. Extreme Gush. Stefan used it with Tart Green Apple. Black currant, blue rest from Liquid Barn. She uses it at 3%. With some TFA strawberry as well. Excellent. Alrighty, gang. Well, we've done it. 21 flavors in five days. If you're like me, you're tired of 
talking about these flavors. But before we go, let's give these new ones a sniff. This one I already sniffed a little bit, the extra sour watermelon candy. Definitely smell watermelon. Definitely smell that malic acid from the sour. For sure. Let's try this margarita. Get these peeled. Mm. It's it's light when it's in a sniff, but doesn't mean it's not good. And last but not least, we got the maple syrup. Oh yeah, that's maple. That is definitely maple. Alrighty, gang. Well, we are done. Thank you for hanging in here this week. These were a lot of fun. I hope you liked them as well. We'll see you next week for week four. We're going to do butterscotch. Be interesting. Got some new ones I haven't tried out yet. You know, I told myself I wasn't going to buy stuff for the videos, but I ended up doing it anyway. So we're going to explore some that I haven't tried yet. Maybe you have. We'll see what the notes say about them and hopefully make you the best mixer you can be. All right, be safe, wash your hands, don't talk strangers. Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody.